Let me know in the comments which meme coin burns the most. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. And today we're going to be talking about a couple hyper deflationary token meme coins that I think we need to keep an eye out for. But first and foremost, make sure that you hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door to door entrepreneur inside the algorithms. And family, I do have some utility token videos coming very, very soon. But you know, those are high value videos, takes a lot of research. I want to make sure I'm delivering the most value to you guys. So if that's something that you like, make sure that you stick around. I know it's a lot of people joining the channel. I appreciate y'all. Smash that like button, engage with the video. It helps the algorithms. All right. So let me talk about meme coins, of course, and which ones burn the most. If you don't know, family, we have been in an extended, in my opinion, extended meme coin season. And the first, the first, the first, the, the first uh, 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 meme coin I want to talk about is Vote Inu. So Vote Inu is just experienced a V3. So they just upgraded to V3, migrated, should I say, migrated to V3. And you can see Vote Inu just dropped the zero. It's literally sending right now, sitting at 5010. Now, a little bit earlier, it was about 608. And you can see right here, it's taking a massive move to the upside. So if you don't know what Vote Inu did, go through my YouTube channel. I've done a plethora of videos. This is not a full review of Vote Inu, but I've always been extremely on Vote bullish on Vote Inu because of the marketing. They have their variety of utility here. You know, very you know you you can't really compare their utility to other meme coins because when you look at it, they got Volti Volti Chains, their own exchange, Volti Eco where they uh Volti Eco where they're literally um they're literally here um using uh proceeds from the airdrop to build out their ecosystem they've been looked at as the people's crypto here in the vote inu is an ecosystem aimed at becoming a one-stop shop offering DeFi projects while bringing profits back to the native token to support its deflationary uh purpose here and what i like about vote Inu, okay what i like about it is if you know go to the twitter you can see here that's what they do they do burns you know, they got a burn coming on May 15th, and then they will do another million dollar burn when Vote Inu hits a all time high. You know, very, 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 very extremely bullish on Vote Inu. You can see there. And uh, if we go here to the um, Vote Inu official page, make sure you go follow me on uh, uh, Twitter there. You go here, you see what they have in their profile. Volte Change making every ERC20 and BEB20 token deflationary so volume is all about burns this is what they do you can go down there twitter and it, it'll be talking about burns all day but what separates volume from a lot, lot of other projects is the marketing they have the top influencers you're literally being able to see vote inu everywhere and family i still think we have tier one listings on the way for vote inu so get in before those listed we've we seen what these cryptocurrencies do when they get listed right they, they they pump a little bit so the key is to get in find these meme coins before they get listed on these exchanges and family i'll tell you this it don't matter if it's tier one it don't matter if it's tier two tier z tier a tier b these crypto exchanges have been listing meme coins at a fierce rate i've been i've been just seeing it so what what better than be, being a part of a hyper deflationary project you can see vote literally sending family not to add they just removed their tax so if you don't know they removed the buy and sell tax that was one of the things a lot of people were concerned about with the vote inu project but again I hope it doesn't affect the marketing because I know a little bit of that tax was going to the marketing of the project. And I was one of the people that didn't have a problem with the tax because we're seeing Votoshi invest into the project and really put the marketing out there. So a lot to be excited about about Vote Inu. I think it's one of the top hyper deflationary meme coins. If I left out something about Vote Inu, be sure to let me know inside the comments what you think about Vote. I think it's going to be a huge project in the next bull cycle. Keep your eye out on this. This is one of those tokens that's been around for meme coins a while. Didn't experience a bull run, but unlike a lot of the 2021 meme coins, this one still has hype. All right. A lot of the 2021 meme coins is dead. You know, they in the casket, man. They need to wake up. You know, somebody hit them with the, somebody got to hit them with something, man. They did, man. I, I was, I'm, I'm getting a little concerned about 2021 meme coins. Right, so the next meme coin I want to talk about here is another hyper deflationary project, Elmo. And Elmo, in the midst of the last time we talked about Elmo, has did a full 2x it went from one penny to two pennies and now we're starting to see elmo really flex that 
hyper deflationary concept, which I like. And, you know, I like about meme coins because meme coins are already, you know, the one thing they have against them is they already have a lot of tokens. What I like about Elmo here is that they are a hyper deflationary project with only le with less than a billion tokens. So um, comparing that to something like Polygon, I think Polygon has like maybe uh, one, 10 billion or 1 billion. It was able to get to like three dollars. Uh, this thing has 450 million tokens. I know there's some projects that have about 450 million tokens that was able to get to the heights of ten dollars, twenty dollars. So again, Elmo has that potential. It also has that community is one of the strongest communities that i've seen so far that's growing fast here for the meme coin section and a lot of people do like elmo uh the nickname of elon musk i never knew that elon musk nickname was elmo that's that's crazy but what stands out about elmo is they're all about the things we love about meme coins and that's burn and earn all right elmo elmer elmo erc burns faster than a campfire on gasoline with its 10 percent burn tax on sales through a quickly decreasing supply, utility, and accessibility, we will conquer the mean space like a fire in the storm. So uh, again, I'm, I'm bullish here on um, uh, Elmo. I love the burn aspect. We reward our long-term diamond holders through massive burns paid by sellers through tax. How does the benefit you? Well, whenever somebody sells, the max supply decreases. Given the tokens, you are holding an increased value due to scarcity. Just buy, hold, and the reward will be even better. And you can see here the supply keeps decreasing. Keep an eye out on this supply and you can check for yourself. The supply will keep dec decreasing. So I I'm liking what I'm seeing right here with uh, the Elmo token. All sales are taxed with a 10%, which is going to the burn wallet. Um, what does that mean? It means the liquidity pool is being strengthened constantly and your Elmo ERC becomes worth more every sale that takes place. That is a very, very neat concept. So, you know, rewarding the people that hold that's what it's about because we've seen too many jeets in the meme coin section which it is okay because what i preach family is to take profits okay you have to take profits especially with interactive with meme coins but with this project for the people that do change choose to take profits or you know trade or do whatever you do you're getting rewarded every time somebody sells so i'm liking what i'm seeing with elmo i think elmo can go north of five or ten dollars i'll just say that five to ten dollars to keep it safe it is a um what is it eight million yes yeah, eight million dollar market cap no dilution i hate the new coin market cap setup it's go back to the old setup like why why change it i hate it man i gotta look certain places just to find out what i'm looking for um and you can see here the the volume here for elmo is about three hundred thousand. i didn't check the volume here from vote but let's get into the volume here for vote if they even have it listed i don't think they even have it listed because this thing um this thing just did a migration okay the volume here 12 million so yeah vote uh elmo you see those those projects are really really uh, moving elmo is pretty new so you know you can still get in early only a thousand holders you feel me? Um, I don't think it's actually listed here on a lot of markets because I know a lot of people always in the comments like, oh, Millie, how you buy it? Well, this one, you'll have to swap your Ethereum on Uniswap. So be aware of the uh, Ethereum fees. But with Vote, you know, Vote here is um not uh is listed on some exchanges. And, you know, in in in, in the future, you know, you might just see Vote, you know, on Crypto.com. And that's going to be huge. All right. So last but not least, let's talk about Baby doge all right so baby doge is another hyper deflationary meme coin in fact this meme coin specifically the community has been growing a lot more faster i'm seeing more influencers talk about baby doge it's on the higher end okay so it's one of those older meme coins here uh the market cap is about 331 million a little bit of dilution here with a 900 million dollar market cap but again this meme coin um has been popular for a while it also benefited from a tweet from elon musk i believe elon musk tweeted like baby doge 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 or something something weird elon musk is a weird guy when it comes to these meme coins like he, he really set meme coins on fire man he really sets meme coins on fire oh uh, yeah these guys um man listed on a lot of exchange a lot of liquidity everywhere great concept i know they're building out a liquidity they have the baby swap etc cetera, etc cetera. and yes they did also benefit from a elon musk tweet here uh baby doge baby doge baby doge so you know you might get another elon musk tweet we've seen race cars are driving and that's what i'm saying man we ain't seen that from pepe yet like when pepe gets start getting this type you know we got the we got the we got the elon musk tweet from pepe now we need to start getting like that massive 
catalysts and stuff like that. This is what I'm talking about. Why are people to go, oh, Twitter only? No, we need we need this thing to be like a forest fire. But neither here said we're talking about Baby Doge. They have a auto burn, okay? The dead wallet holds 45% of the supply. That means out of the 5%, the reflections 45% will be distributed to dead wallets each transaction. Thus, coins are burned with each on each with each on-chain transaction huge okay five percent of the transaction fee is redistributed to the token holders that means you earn more baby doge coin by holding them in your wallet centralizes and exchanges may not apply to tokenomics so you got to be doing some super dj stuff to get the auto reflections i don't think that the centralized exchanges are applying this family but again it's good to know that this project has a auto burn and they do a lot of stuff with charity you can see that they're planning on going to no fees as well and a 100 quadrillion burn all right so this is what baby doge is about man burning you can see they even have an article about it um uh, which you know they're doing a proposal uh, let me know if you're if you're in the bnb community man and you plan on being a part of this uh proposal here it says uh to consider the baby doge is trying to build a seamless and cost-effective experience for the ecosystem um let's see what they say about burns um, it says, on the other hand, there is a lot of discussion about the burn on Twitter. The Baby Doge team has detailed that the non-circulating supply has nothing to do with the price surge. All right. So they are working on a proposal, a new proposal here where they're doing a massive burn, massive family, massive token burn. And they'll be moving also to zero percent transaction fees on the Ethereum chain, which is huge, man, because people getting tired of those fees. You can swing over to uh, www.crypti.io and kind of like see the burn tractor. Uh, burn tracker very similar to the Terra Luna Classic burn tracker. Uh, you can see right here, man. Uh, total burn. This thing's been putting in work. All right, putting in work. So I like hyper deflationary uh, burn tokens. Look at the work that Baby Doge has been putting in. I want to put these tokens on you guys' watch list. Let me know in the comments the other uh, meme coins that do a lot of burns. I need to keep an eye on those. I'm really into hyper deflationary uh, projects and I can't do it without you guys. So again, Leave a comment. Let me know some hyper deflationary meme coins. I love to know what you guys' opinion. All right, so vote Elmo, Baby Doge. Y'all let me know what you think. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'm out.